There's an all-new Kia Sportage coming, a 2023 model. It has some impressive new features and new models. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Volk, and normally every Tuesday I drop a high quality car review. Uh, this is different. This is a preview, not a review, because I have not driven the 2023 Kia Sportage, nor have I seen it in person. But the company has sent some video along and some details. It looks promising. For starters, Sportage is growing 7.1 inches longer with a wheelbase stretched by 3.4 inches. This is to differentiate it from Seltos. That was kind of close to Sportage in size. Unlike Sorento, this will strictly be a two-row model. Trim levels include the LX, EX, the SX, which is the one that you're looking at right now, and SX Prestige. New this time around, the X-Line, which is a rugged appearance package with 19-inch wheels, and then this, an all-new X-Pro with some off-road chops because of more aggressive all-terrain tires, 17-inch matte black off-road wheels, heated windshield and wiper washer nozzle, and multi-terrain drive modes with normal, sport, smart, and snow modes. All-wheel drive equipped models gain 1.5 inches of ground clearance over the outgoing Sportage, and it's supposed to be more powerful and fuel efficient. Powertrains? Well, for now, Kia is only admitting that there's a 2.5 liter four cylinder that makes 187 horsepower. That's paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. Now, this is built on the same architecture as Sorento, which is available in hybrid and plug in hybrid powertrains. Oh, there's something in my eye. Clearly, Sportage is moving on up in class. This is the only cabin footage that Kia sent. It's the X-Line Pro with twin 12.3-inch screens, much like you would find in a Mercedes GLB. Impressive. Multi-connection Bluetooth means you can pair two smartphones at the same time. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are standard. There are angular air vents and an asymmetrical console oriented towards the driver. Kia says that the layout adds smart storage solutions like cup holders that can be repurposed to hold stuff like tablets and other gear. I'm seeing real stitching here and there's a pretty cool pattern on the seats. Kia is switching to synthetic leather if your Sportage doesn't have cloth seats. The headrest has a coat hanger molded into it. That's clever. I've always liked the location that Kia uses for USB ports. Sportage goes from one of the smallest in class to one of the largest. Kia claims best in class rear legroom plus best in class rear cargo capacity with 39.6 cubic feet and a dual level cargo floor. Opposites United is not a European football club. It's how Kia describes the design language of the new Sportage. The Tiger Nose grille remains, but gets a modern floating design. There are boomerang daytime running lights. The overall vibe is sleeker. The current Sportage is kind of chunky. Notice how the aluminum trim starts at the side view mirror and then sweeps into the back pillar. In back, the hips flow into the taillights that have a notch similar to my wife's Chevy Volt. I believe the line connecting them is black and not lighted. It comes standard with the expected automatic emergency braking system, automatic high beams, lane keep assist, and rear parking distance warning, the kind that beeps at you. Optional are blind spot collision avoidance and highway driving assist, which is a very good semi-autonomous system that's as good as you'll find on most luxury vehicles. So when can you get your hands on the new 2023 Kia Sportage? Well, for now, the company isn't saying I suspect it'll be the spring of 2022. That goes for pricing. None has been announced. I figure Kia is bringing this up market. So the new Sportage will be more expensive, especially the X-Line and X-Line Pro. Also, these are going to be built in West Point, Georgia. And last time I checked, that's still in the United States. So thanks for watching my preview of the 2023 Kia Sportage. Remember, every Tuesday, a high quality car review video. And 
Those are much different than this. Again, this is just a preview. Uh, there should be links coming up here so you can click on those, find out what I'm all about if you don't know, and then subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss these videos if you're a car enthusiast. All right, that's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.